Hey everybody, CW here, Card Wolf, because I'm always on the hunt for great cards. And today is Wednesday, that means Pack Battle Day here on the channel. And who are we duking it out with today? None other than Average Joe, our longtime friend and nemesis. Today we are going at it over a box of uh, 2022 Tops Update. It's a hanger box, and uh, actually I did not open too much of uh, Tops Update. I opened some, but uh, really not that much. And so when Joe and I were comparing what we had in our inventory to uh, see what we could uh, both open today as a battle, we both came across one of these. And I thought, I don't, I don't really, I don't think I opened, I maybe opened like one box of this. I don't think I opened very much of this. I have to go back and look. But uh, I was kind of curious to get into this. I remember it being a, a good product that I wanted to open more of and, and just did not. In the hanger boxes, it's a big sort of fat pack of cards. So uh, it's just going to be one sort of big pack of cards. And I think the inserts are in the middle. And I'll try to tuck them in the back and make it more suspenseful. Though I don't know how it could be more suspenseful on pack battle day. I am being represented by this... Uh, I was going to say it's an adorable kitty cat. But it's really sort of creepy. I don't really even know how this came into the house. This wasn't one that I had as a child. If you look into its eyes for too long, you may uh, find yourself getting nightmares or, or feel hypnotized or something. I'm not quite sure, but it's strangely articulated. You know, here's Leaping Card Wolf Cat. Here's Very Noble Card Wolf Cat. And then uh, it can even turn its its face all the way back like that. So that's like Possessed Card Wolf Cat or something. I'm not really sure. But anyway, that's who I'm going to be today is the giant oversized cat. And Joe will be the uh, cat's natural sworn enemy the uh, blue stegosaurus, which uh, used to roam the land millions of years ago, and has returned today as a special appearance on the Card Wolf Network to see if it can attack and assault the mighty kitty cat. So uh, I don't know where I come up with this stuff either, but uh, that's what we're doing today. Let's get into this. If you haven't been over to Average Joe's channel before, I don't know what you're waiting for. It is a great place to go and uh, see rips and learn about cards and all of that good stuff. Joe is a very friendly guy. He opens all kinds of great stuff all the time. I think he posts videos almost every day of the week, which is more than I can say for myself. And uh, he finds stuff... I don't know where he shops, but he finds stuff that I'd never see on my shelves locally. So uh, I think he has better stores where he lives. Uh, perhaps he lives right outside the Panini factory or something. I'm not really sure. But uh, go over to Joe's channel. And uh, you won't regret it. Man, they put some really, really crinkly plastic around these things. I'd forgotten that. Uh, today, Joe is going to open one of these. I'm going to open one of these. And you, as as the viewer, get to decide which one of us got the best stuff. And that is the person who wins the pack battle today. That's how it works. We do this every week on the channel. And it's a whole lot of fun. And I never get tired of it. And uh, there is our, our fat pack of cards, as, as I promised. Uh, nothing else in there. Thanks a lot for that, Tops. And uh, again, Kitty Cat versus Stegosaurus. Kitty Cat is bigger than Stegosaurus, so this is some sort of mutant giant kitty cat, I think is what's going on here. All right, so let's get into this and see how we do in our pack battle today versus Joe. Once again, thank you for uh, checking out the channel today. It's Wednesday. I hope you're having a great week so far. It has uh, been beautiful spring weather here where I live, and I hope it's the same where you are. We start off, uh, and actually I'm going to shuffle these a little bit to put the better stuff in the back so we're not going to actually start off with that player we're going to start off here with yan gomez and he's uh giving you the i don't know the hang loose sign i think that's what it is perhaps he's uh planning to go surfing after the game i'm not sure what's going on with yan there camilo doval and uh, we got spencer torkelson nice rookie card there that's a nice rookie debut rookie there i'm gonna say rookie a few more times just because people like that word isaac paredes there from tampa bay Flip this over and see uh, Mikel Franco, Tyler Anderson, and Alex Degotti, John Gray, and Bryce Elder, rookie card there from the Braves, Adam Ottavino. Flip this over and we got Tony Romero, another rookie card there. Nice to get those. Tyrone Taylor and Gusuki Kato from the Blue Jays, another rookie card there. Nothing wrong with that. Travis Jankowski. Jack Sawinski, rookie card there from the Pirates. And that's what's great about Update. There are a lot of rookies in it. I always uh, add a bunch of uh, cards of players who made some appearances throughout the season because Update comes out pretty much after the season is, is kind of completed. 
Michael Lorenzen, Eric Thames from Oakland, Alec Thomas rookie card there, Will Smith and Nick Castellanos from the Phillies, Dylan Tate, there's first Orioles card, nice to see, Sean Manea, and we got uh, another Orioles, Rylan Bannon rookie card, I don't know if I have that one actually, that's a pretty good one, I'll Wolf Lair that one though, it's not going to help me out much in the uh, pack battle I'm sure, Matt Duffy and Seth Brown, Royce Lewis, rookie card, nice one there. Freddie Freeman, former MVP. Nestor Cortez, Kyle Bradish, rookie card. Another Orioles rookie, man. I'm pulling a lot of those. That's awesome. Abby Baez finishes uh, that stack off. And we go to our next stack here. We'll try to leave a couple of base cards on top before we get into the uh, inserts there at the bottom. Ryan Pepio. I don't think I saw him uh, pitch last year for the uh, Dodgers. Get that in focus for you. Ryan Pepio, rookie card there. And uh, more sideways cards. We've got Seiya Suzuki. That's a nice one. I am inadvertently collecting Seiya Suzuki because I seem to pull him every time I open 2022 product. There comes Seiya Suzuki. Not that I'm complaining. He's a good young player. Jake Walsh, pitcher for the uh, Cardinals. And Josh Stamont. Zach Davies. And uh, what is this? Rookie, rookie combos. Danny Young and Penn Murphy. I don't think I've seen that card before. That's pretty neat. Rookie combo card there. New tests for the Wests. And another rookie card, Bobby Witt Jr. That's a great one there. Nothing wrong with that. Happy to get that. Him tossing a signed ball to a fan. Put that in the wolf lair. Taro Estrada. And uh, that is it for the sideways cards, I assume. Hunter Strickland gets us oriented back the normal way. We got Cesar Hernandez and Lucius Fox. Friend to Bruce Wayne. Chris Bassett. And a rookie card here of Bo Brisky from uh, Detroit. Did not see Bo pitch last year either. Brad Boxberger and Jose Azucar. Another rookie card there from the Padres. We got Andrelton Simmons. J.P. Sears rookie from the Yanks. J Jake Frawley. Flip this over to see Stephen Voigt. And rookie card of George Kirby from the Mariners. Then we got uh, Colin Moran. Another flip to Nick Whitgren. Stephen Kwan, rookie from Cleveland, and Kyle Cody. And uh, that leaves us with uh, the uh, soft, creamy center, as it were. We got uh, Alex Collum, got a couple of base cards, and then we'll get to the uh, shiny stuff in the middle that I put at the end. 3,000 hits. That's a pretty cool card there. I like to see that one. Very nice uh, card there. Career 3,000 hit club. Nice to see that. That's neat that they list all of the... Uh, I like that. That's a cool card, actually. I don't think I'd seen that one either. Nico Goodrum is behind that. And then we get to the uh, shiny stuff. Home Field Advantage card. That is a sweet card. Wow, that is a big pull. Those cards are tough to pull. Home Field Advantage J-Rod rookie card. That is a huge hit. That is awesome. Wow, what a nice pull out of this pack. I was not expecting something of that caliber. That's a really sweet card. Really, really nice card. Those home field advantage cards are very tough to pull. That is a beauty there. We got a blue bordered parallel of Danny Mendick there. I don't think those are numbered. They are not. Set that there. Josh Lowe, and that is another rookie card. Rookie debut, rookie card for the Rays. Josh Lowe. And that, I think, is the Rainbow Foil Parallel. I wish they would put the names. I say this all the time, but I wish they would put the names of the parallels on the back. Mackenzie Gore, rookie card, stars of the MLB. Very nice card there. And Max Scherzer from the Mets, Tim Anderson. We got Kyle Tucker, stars of the MLB. And then we got a nice, wow, this is cool. That is awesome. This is a great card for me. I am a huge Rogers Hornsby fan. Let's see that Aaron Judge card first. That's a nice throwback Aaron Judge card. Man, this was a very, very good hanger. And then we got this uh, gold Rogers Hornsby die cut card. I'm a huge Rogers Hornsby fan, so that's a really sweet pull. For me, I like that one quite a lot. Put that back here by the Stego. Wow, that was a good, good hanger, actually. It's going to be tough for Joe to beat me, I think. Of course, he'll probably pull like three autographs out of his the way he always does. You know how Joe is. So uh, the biggest card, I think, was the uh, J-Rod Home Field Advantage. That's a really nice card to pull, really tough card. So that's a big one. I like the Aaron Judge throwback card as well. And, of course, Rogers Hornsby, I, I'm a big fan of him. The uh, Bobby Witt rookie is a, a nice pull too, as well as the uh, Suzuki and the Torkelson, a couple of Orioles rookies for me because uh, I like the Orioles. 
That was great. I think that the kitty cat was completely triumphant over the Stego today. Of course, Joe's probably bound to pull like a Mike Trout auto or something. But from where I'm sitting right here at the table where I always sit when I do these videos, it looks like I'm probably going to win. That's what I feel. I could be wrong, though. Joe often pulls something you just can't anticipate. Joe is crafty like that. He's a crafty blue stegosaurus is what he is. So you got to watch him. He's got that those spikes on his tail. That's what you got to watch out for. So hopefully I won't get spiked today. Hopefully I will emerge triumphant. Let me know in the comments. Let Joe know in the comments on his channel who you think was victorious for you are the decider today. That's right. You get to be the decider every Wednesday here when we do pack battles on my channel and Average Joe's channel. I'll put a link to his channel in the descriptive box as I always do on Wednesdays and I hope you'll journey over there and see how he did in his break today. I'll be back tomorrow on Anything Can Happen Day here on the channel when anything could happen. I'm not going to spoil it by telling you what I have planned, but it's Anything Can Happen Day every Thursday on the Card Wolf Network. And of course, Friday is dorking with dice, and uh, that's going to be a lot of fun the way it always is. Had a great time doing that last week. I think we opened like five packs last week. That was pretty awesome. So uh, we're going to open a bunch more on Friday again, and uh, I will see you back here tomorrow. As always, happy collecting.